Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss the package DT, which stands for data tables. Also, data table is the main function of the DT package. Please note that it is different from the data.table package that is used for data manipulation in R. The data table function allows user to have tabular interactive display of data like this. It is easy to filter, search, sort, or export the data using the DT package. The table widget that DT returns can be rendered in R Markdown, Shiny Apps, and R Console. One example where DT package is used is the DAF package, which I have already covered in a separate video. So let's get started. First, we must install the DT package using install.packages and call it using the library function. And for demo, let's take a look at the data table of Iris dataset. So I'm using data table and the data set name, which is Iris. So uh, if you're using R Studio, the result will be displayed in the viewer pane, which displays like a little browser. And if you're using base R, it should pop up in your default browser. So here we have HTML and JavaScript table. The data table output consists of certain features like we have search here and this page shows 10 entries by default. You can select the number of entries by using the uh, drop down menu over here. Another nice feature is that we can sort. So I can choose to sort with respect to sapel.width or petal.length. So as per my requirements, so this is very convenient in this way. If you notice, the function prints the row name by default. So in case you don't want this in your output, you can suppress row name via argument row names equals to false. So you'll write data table, the, uh, your data set name, iris, and then row names equals to false. Let's run it. So here, row names are not populated. In the search bar, for example, I want to see the rows having value 5.1. So only the rows having the value 5.1 is displayed. Uh, at the bottom of the table, it shows how many entries were found. So it will be more useful if we can search for values in each column individually, like we do in uh, MS Excel. So for that, we have another argument called filter in the data table. So we have to add filter equals to top. So we run this. And now we have search bar for each column. So for the numeric columns, we have sliders as well so that you can choose the range you want to select. So uh, I have selected uh, to place the filter on the top, filter equals to top. You can choose to have it in the bottom by specifying filter equals to bottom. So a data tables library support large number of initialization options. You can specify these options using the list in R. For example, you can choose to disable the search bar over here and change the default page length from 10 to 5 or 15. Let's see how. You can, uh, so within the list, I have uh, specified these two options, searching is equal to false and page length equals to five. So you can choose to uh, add more as per your requirement. Let's run it. So there is no search bar and the pagination has been changed. Another feature is the class argument. This one is the default styling. There are several class names available to control the different styling features of a data table. In this example, so here class equals to hover will do row highlighting on mouse over. Let's run it. So if you 
scroll down, you will notice the row is highlighting on mouse over. Uh, if I can choose to provide cell border by adding cell border and add stripes to the rows using stripe and run it. Let's view this in the browser using show in window, new window icon. So in the browser, you can properly see the row highlighting feature and cell borders and row stripes. So like this, you can choose different combination of CSS classes. There's another very cool feature of the DT is the argument editable. So I mentioned over here, editable equals to cell. Let's run it. So I can double click on a cell and I can edit its value. Say five. This works on both client side and server side processing modes. So this feature is most helpful when you work on R shiny. The column names that are provided here are directly from the data. There are two ways to change the column name. First is to provide the character vector to completely replace all the column names of the data. Like I have provided here, the vector as data is the new sign. So this is the character vector that, that I have provided. If I run this, you'll see all the column names, data is the new signs. So all column names got replaced. But what if you want to change only one or two column names? In that case, let's see the example. Provide the new column name, uh, sorry. Provide the new column name, data. And then the old column name. So I have uh, mentioned to replace sepal width and petal width so how data table iris data set name column names equals to the new names let's run it so only uh, sepal dot width and petal dot width got replaced with data and signs Instead of column name, you can also choose to provide the column index. For example, data equals to three, which is the column index of sepal dot width and signs equals to five. So it will work in the same way. Next, we have a very good feature. You can also choose to provide caption to your table via the caption argument. So data iris and caption equals to say I'm giving table one is equal to table caption example. Table one equals to table caption example. Another very useful uh, aspect is the buttons extension. We're gonna write data table, iris, extensions equal to buttons. Within buttons, you need to specify certain options. So the B option in the DOM parameter will instruct data tables where the buttons should be placed. This is the JavaScript thing. In this case, buttons will be placed at the top left. Next, we have the arguments to specify what all buttons you want. So this enables the user to specify either copy the table, save as a CSV, Excel, or PDF or print the table. Let's run it. Let's open this in a separate browser. So here on the left are the icons, copy, CSV, Excel, PDF, and print buttons, which are used to display data export options for the data table. 
please know that the table remembers what you have changed so far. So say if you sort by paper length or filter anything, the copied or the saved table will have these same restrictions. So this is all about the DP package. Please add your views in the comment section below. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos on our important packages. Thank you.